1977 Panasonic AM-FM combo television. How do you like that? These were marketed uh, for people who do out outdoor activities. The beach, the mountains, camping, uh, tailgating, that kind of stuff. Outdoor stuff. And it actually has... Rechargeable lead acid... I could figure out how to it has two <laughs> these are like early gel cells little lead acid storage batteries Now you can buy these, they made these for a lot of years and they're all over eBay. And I will say this, with the inflation right now and people having to prioritize priorities when it comes to spending, eBay is a buyer's market. Prices have come down, uh, people are not bidding on things the way they used to, they're not running the prices up. so. Yeah, financially we're in sort of a weird place and prices are starting to drop. I got this from a friend and what I want to do is I want to get it working and then I want to take it out to the desert or mountains and test the performance and put it up against some of the other radios and stuff we've worked on lately. Uh, it is not light. It's not something that I would really want to take on a backpacking trip. Uh, it's probably... Uh, it's, uh, it's heavy, okay? Five kilos? I don't know, 10 or 15 pounds? It's heavy. So... 1977, there's the SAMS number. I looked it up and wrote it on. Now, Panasonic, 20 watts, 6 watts at uh, 12 volts. So let's see, what were these? These were 3 amps. So, so it would... This would presumably run it for three hours. Am I doing my calculations right? Because each one of these is 18 watts. Three times six. I wonder if those have any charge in them. Hey, they're only lead acid batteries from 1977. And, and the, the, the label is just disintegrating. But they're original. Look at that. So Panasonic of this era, known for little small uh, purple electrolytics that are bad. I think we want to open it before we even attempt to power it up. Let's get in here for a closer look and like I said I'd like to take this out to the desert and test the performance um, and see how it actually works and this is kind of gimmicky right here I wonder if in the analog days if you took this up into the mountains, like hiking up into the Sierras or something, if you would have actually picked anything up. I 
I mean, it's it's a little bit classy because it it doesn't have this is this thing is not the TV tuner like on a lot of the newer ones. It's Panasonic. It might look gimmicky and cheesy, but it's pure quality and functionality. Let me see if I can figure out how to get this apart. Use it in your car. Uh. External connections. Do not remove screws, really? Okay, well, thanks for the suggestion there, but we're going to remove the screws. I kind of like it. And we're already off to a great start with the crappy purple capacitors. Look at this. These are the same things they use in the Sony Trinitrons that I fixed a whole bunch of. They're always bad. See how it looks like the bottom is bulging out on that one? Look at that one's leaking. See that? Yeah. They're, they're garbage. Yeah, look at that. A and you turn it on, you put power to it, they're going to just start to squirt. We do have a, a decent size AM bar antenna here. I wouldn't call it like... Ooh. Hundred and forty millimeter tube. That fuse looks blown right there, doesn't it? That white. Look at the little flyback. I gotta be honest, I don't want to recap this thing fully because I'll never use it. Well, maybe. I gotta think about that. So this is the power supply right here. Very nicely built. All the fuses are socketed. They're not soldered in. Here's the deflection board right actually it looks like the whole TV because there's the IF that chip down there I don't know what that is AN 255 like Apple Nancy 255 it looks like let's see about how do I get in here? The radio's in here. And there's the speaker. And sort of sadly to my dismay, this thing is an integrated circuit radio. You can see the, the ICs here. See the lines of pins. So this is an IC radio. Well, that's sort of a bummer because they never, they just don't perform as well as discrete solid state stuff. They really don't. I will give it this for ease of serviceability. This thing is a 10. Just remove two screws and the whole tuner assembly here falls out. So what do we got here? So, maybe it will perform okay. I don't know. It is Panasonic. It does have some transistors. 
Let's see what we got here. HA11516. HA11516. And SN76642. I love this scrolling. Look at this. Engineer, engineer have to come up with something cutting edge for 1977. We got a couple puke-tastic capacitors here. Of course, like all Panasonic stuff, they align it and then they mark it with a red pin so you can tell if someone tweaked it. This might perform okay. Maybe I'm being short-sighted. Look at the way that the wires are routed up through that little hole in the board and look at how the dial cord here has little rotating um, pulleys. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. It's not like General Electric where it's just nylon wire dragging across plas pieces of plastic. Look at this thing. This is, this is very good quality. This is, this is a thing of beauty. It really is. Does this have some hours on it? Why does it look like dark and dirty? I bet it's still good though. It's just little things like this that... So see this? Look at it. Watch this. I should probably retake this again, but that fits in like that. It goes down real nice. See how it's got the cut out there for the wires? So you have this removable piece of plastic here that fits right in there. So serviceable. Well, that fuse is open, just as I suspected. So we might have something shorted in here because usually these capacitors, they don't like short and blow fuses. They just leak all over the place and eat everything up. Uh, at least I haven't seen them really. Sh they go open, but they leak when they... That, that one is good. You can catch a lot of your problems with just a solid, thorough, lengthy visual inspection. You really don't need to start a bunch of... That one's good. So I wonder what this one that's blown open is for. I mean, that could be for the batteries. I, I say we just sort of power it up and see what happens. I'm not too worried about it. It looks like it might be sort of high hour. I don't know. There's a lot of, lot of dirt on this. Like... Is this like nicotine spooge? Is that what this is? Do we need to have a cigarette? Check out the springs with the cotter pin that hold the hold the TV part up. Look at that. Can you imagine? We just can't build anything like this today. It's just not possible. Like humans just... Everything is so disposable and so engineered to go away in two to five years that just nothing is built like this. This is built to be serviced. This is built to last. 
it, the plastic is okay okay i'll get over it i'll stop now i'll leave it alone we all got it it's awesome and everything today is garbage so we've established that i don't need to go on about it but it does it really does look like it's got some hours on it and usually these didn't get a lot of hours usually people they they just kept them in the closet they were a gift or something and maybe they had it in the bathroom or they watched it in the garage once in a while but these this one looks like it's got some time on it okay power is applied and you have to make sure that Make sure that switch gets depressed because that's what I think disconnects the 12 volts and turns it to 110. Let's see here. All right. All right, well here we have 22.6 and of course there's nothing on the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the amp meter here and I'm going to just bypass this fuse through the amp meter and let's see the power is off to the set I don't see anything there right now okay I'm gonna turn the set on Oh, yes. Boy, what is this robot mumble rap? Okay, so the... Looks like the antenna. Oh, yes. Nothing but the best. Oh, crunchy, but that that has a real harsh, real nice hard locking AFC. Listen to how it snaps from one station to the next. But that's integrated circuits. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. But why am I e Crap, I better get off of that. In Hollywood, temperatures are going up to 72. This report is sponsored by Unbound.org. So is that really what we have is 70 milliamps right now? I mean, maybe the maybe the batteries are what blew the fuse. You know, maybe the batteries are shorted and someone plugged it in and it tried to charge shorted batteries. There's channel six. Por medio de él quiere decir que Foundation. The Crohn's 
choice, and we have to respect it. Probably your Easter mass. According to the methamphetamines that deputies were using as bait. This happened after the deputies met with the suspect and told him the meth as, or told him rather, the meth as part of a larger investigation to identify drug traffickers. The plan was to then follow and arrest him, but after he drove off, he refused to pull over for the pursuing deputies, and instead he sped away and led them on a chase that hit high speeds. They eventually lost sight of him. California's Attorney General is joining 17 other states, asking the federal government to recall Kias and Hyundais because they're super easy to steal. Emily Valdez explains. California Attorney General Rob Bonta. Car makers Hyundai and Kia violated federal regulations by producing cars with deficiencies in their starting systems and as a result sold cars that are extremely vulnerable to theft. Viral videos show car thieves stealing Kias and Hyundais with just a screwdriver and a USB cable. It's time for a federal monitored I mean, recall this is be an incredible environment. environment. In all of the vehicles. Bonta says ignition and mobilizers are standard in all cars. Like I'll start with the first NBA matchup of the day. Okay, hey, there's 1090. It's pretty good. Bigger demand. Hey, I can hear the digital sidebands. Right there. This is one of those low power transmitters. This is not a drill on KBLA 1580. I'm your host, Ardrina Redmond, joined again by Baba Akili, Baba Greg Akili. Okay, I'm going to go to TV now. Six hundred milliamps for the TV. That does not seem excessive. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. It's working. It's got full deflection and everything. It's not setting any records in the brightness department, but we know it's not a low hour set. We know it. So we need to spray some stuff here. We need to spray these pots. And again, the serviceability here just melts my sponge. I mean, this is a, this thing is just a thing of beauty. All the pots have been sprayed with control cleaner. Um. And how do we get to that? How do we get to addressing uh, what's happening in, in Haiti, for example? How, how are we doing that here at this conference? And we have about four minutes. Well, very quickly, first of all, educating ourselves about it. Secondly, having discussions and developing plans. Yeah, I think the CRT is a little bit tired.
meat. If they market this thing as something to be used outside, you know, I, I would expect it to be pretty bright. You know, it's pretty dark. Um, I want to take this thing out to the desert and test it. I bet that, even though it's IC based, is going to perform pretty damn good. It almost seems as good as the Motorola, but we just don't know until we actually get it out you know away from the city it's very hard to tell here it just I mean you can get an idea but I'm gonna try and spray the I'm gonna see if I can try and get some spray cleaner in this tuner because it's a little bit weak new fuse put a 1.5 amp in there it says 1.6 but all I had is a 1.5 as you saw, the highest current draw we saw was about 700 milliamps, so um, I don't think I'm going to be trying to charge these old batteries or anything like that. I just This is going to be a shelf queen. We are going to take this out and test it in the desert at some point. And we are going to watch some TV right now. We're going to hook it up, but we've established that all of these purple capacitors really need to be changed. And I would consider it if this was really low hour or something. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to use this. I'm, I'm much more into tube color stuff and actually using it and watching modern content. So let's um, clean the, we clean the controls. Let's get this in and get it hooked up and watch some home shopping network. 1977 Panasonic portable whatever hooked up to the converter box here we go Absolutely beautiful. Who's your head? What you Would you? Thank you, my dear. And Kyle, of course, has been in the industry forever. Matter of fact, you've been working and designing wigs with Gabor for 20 years. That's right. right. I've been with the hair you at the company for 20 yes. years. And Gabor, I've been the camera just like blows out. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we're going to show you how easy. Because if you're like, oh, gosh, how I don't know. So I got to turn the brightness way, way down in order for the camera humid. for it to look good in the camera. Inger, who is sporting uh, our first wig that we're going to be talking about, which is Virtue. But look at her before, look at her after. In seconds. I, in Instantly. In seconds. And breathtaking. Inger, oh, yes. you look amazing. <laughs> you know, I love Inga's hair. I love the curls. But this just looks like she's put a yeah. flat iron on it, straightened right. it out, and you're ready to go in seconds. Oh, I love it. Okay, and 3,300 have been spoken for this weekend. Pack of items you love, so you can treat yourself when the time is right. Just add to cart. if I can find something here that's in widescreen or full it's really very small and yeah the camera is going in and out of focus because it's I mean it sure is it's kind of a gimmick because of how small it is but it sure is built well it's weird Okay, what is this? It really does not look that bad as it does in the camera. It's too dark in here. It works very well. I think there is some capacitor issues. 
see how it's brighter on this side and it's darker on that side uh, I think that's probably some low ESR capacitors and see it's bright here and it gets darker over on this side I mean oh we have we have something here that's highly entertaining See what we can do here. Porque la palabra que Dios da no regresa a él vacía, sino trae fruto en abundancia y va a producir el fruto que él quiere que produzca. Tal vez el día de hoy usted está todo eh, eh, desganado, todo de I don't know, it works very well. I don't have a proper connection to the antenna leads. I'm I'm just got clip leads tied to it. But. Gracias, Jesus. Ooh, five frames per second. Look at the movement. Yeah, I don't have an appropriate connection. Anyway, there it is. <sighs> the uh, little thing hooked to the uh, converter box and rabbit ears. I mean, the resolution's okay. Very cool TV. Beautiful engineering. See that? Oh, is it instant? Is it instant on? Stand by. Give it a minute to cool down here. It is instant on. Holy crap. So if you shut this off. It is instant on. So if we put it on FM. It's still instant on, so it's heating the filament slightly, no matter what mode it's on. Well, that's the late 70s for you. Everything was instant on, because if I unplug it, it takes forever to warm up. So yeah, that CRT has got some hours on it. Wow, so they're instant on. That's sort of whatever. Well, I'm up at my friend's place in the mountains, up in the Sierras. And let's try the Panasonic out. Yeah, it's been a rough winter out here. But uh, this is like blindingly bright. This right here is kind of the level of hardcore winter it's been, I guess you could say. It's what you have to do to take care of snow if you live up here. So I brought the Panasonic out here and I got it hooked. I got the, we're running on batteries and I 
got in there and connected some clip leads and then I'm on our 12 volt 12 volt uh, lithium iron phosphate pack and I think we get one st one AM station here it's out of Fresno and on this radio you could just barely hear it sounds like they're playing tainted love Now on this radio, barely, just if I hold it up to my ear, I can barely hear it. So let's try the Panasonic here. Look at this, the sun is coming out. Well, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Really? Is that what they teach in school now? I don't think so. Let me get set up and try the FM. Okay, so this is FM. You hand a bug to me, baby, tie your luck to tie. It's fair. Let's try this one. This wins. It's a it's a pretty good performer. I forgot to bring that Motorola, but I'm going to say this probably performs almost as good as the Motorola. This is a it's worthy of its advertising. See cuz this This doesn't even get the station. So this, we got a station above the country station. Ooh, airplanes. 
pick like three o'clock. So I'm probably picking up 108 plus 10.7. Because that was definitely aircraft. The land agencies. Yeah, it's no contest. This thing kicks ass. The Panasonic kicks ass. It's too bad analog TV isn't around anymore because it probably would have pulled in some good stuff even out in the middle of nowhere. So there's a little rural test. It lives up to its advertising. It's Panasonic.